what's going on guys my name is tuck welcome back to my channel i just woke up today you're getting sleepy time tuck i just woke up because someone pounded on my door and rang my doorbell and they gave me this box what's inside the box well that's the point of an unboxing we're gonna find out actually i can tell you guys right now i ordered a controller from battle beaver customs they'll be linked in the description down below see the box here it is a fedex box tape over the address and as you can see on the other side it identifies as a small box but i know that's backwards for you you just have to trust me that says small box without anything else there's not much on the outside of the box let's take a look on the inside I had to work some magic, but as you guys can see, I gave myself a decent workspace to work with. Here's the box. And if you guys remember from last time, here is the X-Acto knife that we might have to use. I'm not sure. Let's look around the box. The FedEx box isn't really the important part, but we have to get through the FedEx box to get inside. Do I just rip this? I think I just have to rip this. Got that side off. Let's open this. Let's see how this is packaged. Some brown paper, that's sick. There's a box here, but I might have to pull out some other paper to get to. Nope, the box is coming. There's the box. Anything else they sent with this? Nope, that is all for the FedEx small box. We're gonna toss that right there. It just comes in a normal Xbox controller box, but they do retape it using Battle Beaver branded tape. So we have that going for us, and that gives us a reason to use this. Straight through that. Let me see we got working with. Yep. All right. Let's open it this way. And there is the back of my controller. Put that there for a second. They did send me batteries. Very cool. There's nothing in that. And then underneath of this is where they put the extra stuff. They gave me some spare buttons, which we'll get to in a second. They gave me a reflective Battle Beaver sticker. They gave me this business card thing. I'm not sure what this is. The phone number has a QR code. It has the links for all their social medias, their email, and their website. I think this is just a battle, uh, not a battle card, a fucking uh, business card. And then... They gave me the card, which just has all the specs that I wanted for my controller, just to make sure this is what I wanted. And I will use this for another video, or maybe this video, I haven't decided yet. Because I want to do a comparison video to the controller I've been using, my uh, scuff. Alright, that's it for the unboxing part of the video, there's not really a lot to go through, they didn't send me much, they sent me the batteries, the sticker, the controller, the replacement buttons, and then the business card and my spec sheet. So now I'm just gonna take you through the Battle Beaver compared to the Scuff in some ways, take you through the spec sheet they gave me and tell you what's what and show you where it's at. And I guess we'll just start off with that by showing you the front of the controller. I got the pink to black fade soft touch with white buttons. On the back, the white and black grip, and then just standard Xbox controller stuff here. On the spec sheet starting from the top to the bottom, I got two buttons. This is my right hand. My right button down here goes to my A button. My left button goes to my B button. Those are the only two buttons I've ever had to remap on my scuff. So that's the only thing I had to do here, and I saved myself 20 or $25 because I didn't get the remap chip because I could just assign which button I wanted to go to which button on the front of the controller, as opposed to my scuff, where these are default right to left B, Y, X, A, I think. You have to get the remap chip to change the paddles on the scuff. I got the rumbles taken out on both sides of the controller. On my triggers, I got smart triggers, which basically means these are just mouse clicks up here. This is all the further the triggers go. You guys can hear that next to my mic. I got smart triggers for both of my triggers. The bumpers are identical, they're just normal bumpers. Uh, I got normal Xbox sticks with normal tension, didn't change anything because this is how I've been playing with controllers like this forever, I'm just used to it. I opted out of the upgraded bumpers and the Control Freak grip because I've never used Control Freaks either. The faceplate is soft touch, 
which basically just means like it's smooth but it's not like slippery smooth like normal xbox controllers are like it's not slick there's a little bit of grip here like it's completely smooth like i said but it's not like i can grip onto it a little bit better it's the same way with the scuff this also has a soft touch faceplate on the back the side caps are the textured white and black for extra grip the rear shell is just black the buttons are a matte white the d-pad is just a normal xbox d-pad the sticks are literally just xbox sticks the bumpers are matte white the guide button is stock black i didn't change the guide button but if they did the thing i asked whenever i turn on my controller this button will be pink so i'll plug in the controller in a second and see if it's pink for the rear button caps these two buttons here default these are really small buttons i opted for the beaver tail buttons which means these buttons are bigger and they have texture and they're a little bit more forgiving I also opted for the uh, quiet button, so normally, this is what the buttons sound like right now. If I hadn't gotten the quiet buttons, those clicks would be a lot louder. And then I got standard warranty and that's it. So that's, that's everything on the spec sheet. I'm gonna actually put in the batteries and see if this button here lights up pink. And then I'll compare the scuff to the beaver. All right, I took off the back case to put in batteries to test the light for what it's worth. There is a Battle Beaver logo inside the back of the battery case. So let's put in the batteries now so you guys can see the light. You guys even gonna be able to see that? Nope, that just looks white to you. I will post a picture on screen of what I'm actually seeing because this button is pink but the exposure on my camera is not very great so you're seeing a white dot. Alright so now let's get into comparing the Battle Beaver to the scuff in ways that are fair to be compared to. First things first for my scuff, just compare face plates. I got the Optic Gaming scuff controller at Xbox as well. The only difference looking at the front of the controller that I can notice that's actually like a, a noticeable feature is one. The scuff has removable sticks if you want to replace them, and then two, the custom optic gaming logo on the center. Battle Beaver didn't offer any super duper custom center buttons, so this is what we're rocking with. There's a default boy over here with some pink LEDs and then an actual optic gaming logo on this one. Turn around the controller, let's go to the back. The obvious difference on the back, one has buttons, one has paddles. Which do I prefer? I haven't used the Battle Beaver yet, but just holding it, I can tell I'm not going to notice any difference, really, just because I only use the left and right paddles on my scuff, and my hands are the size that were, these buttons are exactly where my paddles would be pressed anyway, so there's not going to be much of a change there. However, on Battle Beaver's website, you, there are so many different options to where you can put the buttons. You can go up and down the inside of the controller, and you can have up to six buttons. As opposed to the scuff, your maximum is only going to be out of four paddles, and they're going to be in this spot every time. Other things, you can see the outside grip are different. You can't really tell on the scuff if maybe if I hold it closer to the light. There's textured on the inside. The entire back side of the scuff was military grip, I think is what they call it. Which is basically the same as what this white part is on my controller. But I opted to also get scuff grip which my chroma key is goofing with so i'm sorry but these are just these are just really nice grips i wish battle beaver had something like this green part of my controller right here on my scuff because this just feels really nice but i'm sure it's nothing i can't remedy with like a control freak grip that goes around the controller so that's it for the back we can go to the bumpers the bumpers are the same i, I got normal bumpers on my battle beaver i have normal bumpers on the scuff because that's what they offered these are both identical things. The triggers are where it gets different. So on the scuff, I got uh, trigger stops, which you can see the white mark from where the button gets pressed so much. The trigger goes halfway, which is really nice, but it's not gonna be as nice, I think, as the Battle Beaver where it's literally like a mouse click, like I said earlier. That is as far as the controller goes, as opposed to this. If you're not playing an FPS, these controllers suck. Like, every time I would hop on GTA 5 or anything else like that, I would have to switch controllers because you can't drive with a stick that goes halfway. As far as anything else goes, I'm switching to PC for the next Call of Duty, so I needed to get a new controller. Why do I need to get a new controller, you ask? Well, if you look inside the controller, the one, the biggest issue I've had with my scuff 
there's no USB port in this controller. Why is that, you ask? Because whenever I was charging it using a cable, I went to take the cable out, the cable ripped the USB port out of the scuff. I'm not expecting that to be a common issue, but it happened to me, so I have to mention it. The only other issue I've had was I dropped the faceplate when I was replacing my batteries after this boy got ripped out. And then I dropped the faceplate, the outer paddles broke, but it's nothing to get really upset about. They offer replacement paddles, it was an easy fix. As opposed to the Battle Beaver, obviously it has the charging port in there, and I'm hoping it doesn't happen to the same thing, but I needed this to play on PC, which I'm doing. Which, if you haven't checked out my PC video, top right corner, top right corner, one of these two corners. There will be a link to my unboxing of my NZXT streaming PC, which is what I will be playing Call of Duty on for the next year. Now you may be asking, I play Call of Duty at a semi-competitive level, so I want to get every advantage I can get. And the majority of players, at least at the level I play at, they either use a Scuff, a Battle Beaver, or they're playing Claw, which is another advantage over just a normal default controller. I've been using a Scuff for so long since World War II, like, the last time I used... When I bought my scuff, Optic Gaming was actually a good team, lol. World War II happened, but... Hadrian's great walls that have fallen throughout history, and now you can add the green wall to that pile. Ladies and gentlemen, Optic Gaming have been eliminated from COD Champs. I wanted to try a Battle Beaver. Why? Mainly one, because I used code SILLY when I bought this. Shout out Justin Fargo. Wanted to support the brother. And two, I wanted to try something new. Like, there's nothing wrong with the scuff other than that one weird issue I mentioned. There's nothing, like, inherently wrong with my scuff that I would never buy another scuff. But you have to think, I got basically everything I wanted out of this. There were some features that would have been nice to have that I just opted not to get because I was on a budget, a little bit of a budget. But even after shipping, this controller was at $175 with shipping with tax. I'm not going to remember the exact price point, but the scuff... The way it came, the way I have it, same thing, no rumbles, uh, trigger stops, optic gaming skin, the remap chip for the paddles. After shipping and taxes, this thing was like 225 bucks. So you're looking at a decent $50 difference for not really that much of a difference performance-wise, I'm assuming. Because like my other option, if I wasn't going to get this controller from Battle Beaver, I was going to get the Chicago Huntsman uh, scuff controller. But whenever I went to order that, they didn't have Xbox controllers, and of course, the second I placed the order for this guy, they released the Xbox CDL controllers for uh, Scuff, but again, that was going to be like $220, $225 controller. Do I think it's that worth that much more than what I have, considering you can customize this way more than this? No, I don't necessarily, so I wanted to try the Battle Beaver. I'm going to try the Battle Beaver. I might make a follow-up video in a few weeks after I get some playtime on it, giving my actual thoughts on how it performs compared to this. But in terms of just my speculation, I don't think it's going to be much different. I really don't see that much of a downgrade or an upgrade either way. I think they're both products so far. Oh yeah, now we're back up here. You're seeing my face. This is going to be the end of the unboxing slash comparison video to my Battle Beaver that I just got. I'll do a follow-up video in like in a few weeks maybe if you guys care to see that. Uh, as far as anything else goes, if you want in real time reviews, keep watching my YouTube uploads. I upload three or four times a week at this rate. I'm trying to find my place in that YouTube algorithm, you know? Like I said, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash why the talk. I stream three days a week, Friday through Sunday, 6 p.m. EST, play on a lot of Call of Duty. That's what I do. I play COD. Except for, for the foreseeable future, Fridays or Fallout Friday. So, those are my plugs. All my other social media is in the description. Drop some follows. If you like the video, drop a like. Leave a comment on what you thought. And one last time, the Battle Beaver. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.